joining us on Skype is Jean-Marc Rickley. He's at, responsible for global risks and resilience at the Geneva Center for Security Policy, and we appreciate your time. So as we just said, this is the first time that there have been Iraqi airstrikes in Syria. Why now? What, what brought this about? Well, I think it, ha it has to do with uh, the retaliation uh, against ISIS attack in Baghdad on uh, February uh, 16th. And also due to the fact that uh, ISIS is being challenged uh, all over the country as well as in, uh, in Syria, is launching diversionary attacks uh, in different parts of, uh, of uh, Iraq, notably in Kirkuk, in uh, Sinjar, in Baghdad. And uh, up until now, uh, Syria was some kind of a, a um, sanctuary for uh, ISIS forces. And so by striking in at the border between Iraq and Syria, uh, the Iraqis are sending a message that uh, they are ready to escalate the fight beyond uh, the Iraqi border. How does this further complicate an already extremely com com complicated situation? What does this mean? Well, I think we shouldn't uh, look for too much into that, to read too much into that. I think it's more a tactical move than a strategic move uh, for now, because uh, the uh, uh, western part, uh, the eastern part of Syria, in terms of uh, control of the airspace, is mainly controlled by the United States. And so there, there has probably been some coordination with the U.S., notably when it comes to intelligence for a, a, a targeting and uh, locating uh, ISIS uh, elements. So uh, rather for now, a tactical move than a strategic move in terms of escalation. So, but does, does not the U.S. want these battles, these conflicts to remain separate? And it seems that they have been the ones that with this airstrike and giving these coordinates have sort of meshed it all together. Well, I'm not saying that the U.S. have uh, given the coordinates, but the U.S. have uh, control of uh, the airspace in, uh, in, in that part of um, uh, the country. And it is possible that the U.S. have provided the Iraqis with intelligence. The, Iraq, uh, the, the Americans have changed their policy when it comes to uh, the special operation forces and the embeddedment of these forces with Iraqi troops uh, lately. And this is one of the reasons uh, for uh, Iraqi success in um, in the fight in Mosul, because there is now much better coordination between uh, uh, coalition air forces and uh, troops on the ground in what we call close air support. Okay, so it sounds like you're saying that Iraq is, is ready to continue to escalate this fight against ISIL as needed. Um, Jean-Marc Rickley, thank you very much.